There's some trans people on Twitter mad at Bridget, saying Bridget's bad rep. They don't they don't want Bridget anymore. Well, I'm about a month late to this topic, but I think you'll still find this amusing and or interesting. If you do, please consider liking and or subscribing to help the channel out. And now, let's take a look. It's Trans Day of Visibility, and the most visible trans woman in anime and video games is still played by a cis woman, who has shown no signs of ever stepping down. And Guilty Gear's localization director did a targeted hate raid on trans people who spoke out against the decision. Okay, couple questions. One, I haven't found any evidence, like I've looked for evidence of this occurring, this alleged situation with the localization director doing a targeted hate raid on trans people and i've found no no evidence for that like if you have it post it why would you not post the evidence for that that sounds crazy and the second thing the quote who spoke out against the decision there's no like question presented before that what is this person even talking about like what decision what are you talking about the thread goes on further with the op talking about other characters that they also take issue with because the vas are not actually trans they say some like odd stuff though for example no trans women were no trans women were ever considered for in both games she appears in. How would this person know if any trans women were considered or not? That's like you don't have uh, omni scientific knowledge, do you? Like you wouldn't you wouldn't actually know that. That person wouldn't actually know that. Not just video games either. So it takes issue as well with like Lily and Zombieland Saga, some other characters here. Mentions how there's a lot of fake allies. That's a fair point. I do think there's a lot of fake allies who are just chasing or predatory. So okay. Uh, and then also talks about why they're not talking about more trans men and talks about it being a simple matter of population. Adding that there is some good news though. Sometimes we get to play ourselves, rare though the opportunities are, but they are few and far between and outnumbered by the by the screw ups. And actually complimenting Hogwarts Legacy, saying that they actually cast a trans VA for their trans character, <laughs> saying how you gonna let Hogwarts get better rep than you. Uh, and then saying that they're not cherry picking. This is questionable though. Says that they get they got a death threat during the Bridget fiasco, but this is not even a death threat. Like I say that as someone who has received probably well over 100 death threats. Like I've had people literally saying that they are going to poison my house and put explosives in my car. Those are death threats. This, I don't know about that. Um, ultimately, this just comes off like a VA trying to throw other VAs under the bus though. It's like a Karen move. It's like, let me talk to the manager. You should fire that person and hire me. And I don't know if that's a good look. That kind of just makes you seem like a snake. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this as we scroll through some of the responses. And I'm just gonna ask a question as well, but here's the framing for the question. I've noticed that there seems to be a lot, it's a very common thing in the English VA space for English VAs to eagerly and readily throw other English VAs under the bus to try and score roles, try and get hired. And to me, well, first of all, let me just ask, have you guys noticed that too? And now I will say to me, that is a terrible, terrible, terrible way of going about business. You're just basically making yourself look like a terrible person to work with. Like you just backstab the people around you and throw them under the bus. Why would anyone want to hire you at that point? Why would anyone want to work with you? they would be more keen to avoid you at that point, would they not? And an interesting response to this person, James, who seems to agree with the OP, and the response says, no, AI will replace VAs. I've actually seen some games already using AI to replace VAs, although replace I'm using a bit loosely here. It seems mostly like the games I'm talking about, which are early access indie games, are using AI as like placeholders until maybe they have the budget to hire some VAs down the road, maybe closer to the actual release. You know, they're more, more focused on like fixing bugs and actual gameplay mechanics right now, not just the, the, the voices. That said, if the AI voices were less janky and actually sounded good, though, I'm sure plenty of people would just use those. It's not even just a matter of cost per se, but time efficiency as well. Here's a funny response saying, can't you just take the dub on a good character for once? <laughs> That's what kind of surprised me at the beginning. If you remember, I was like, I guess people on Twitter are just mad at Bridget now. I use the little meme there, the Toy Story thing. Yeah, it's like, like, like why, why, why complain about this? Always able to find something to complain about. We know why they're complaining, though, right? I mean, it seems like it's a money thing, right? Hey, fire that person and hire me. Yeah, okay. What's this one right below that one? Let's see. Instead of asking why aren't they being voiced by actual trans folk, you should have asked why aren't there more trans folk VAs? How good are the existing ones, if any, and how much do they cost? Your issue with this is pure moral grandstanding. So 90% of anime that is dubbed outside of Japan would need to be done by bilingual Japanese people, correct? Or would they need to be multiracial? Oh gosh, since the characters are mostly, the rabbit hole this opens up, right? The can of worms or whatever the saying is. 
Or would they need to be multiracial since the characters are mostly Japanese but speaking like they're partially from the dub country? I don't know, Senna, we have female voice actors voicing young male characters for decades, and I don't see people getting mad about that. Oh, that's a really interesting response. Yeah, that's true. Very common in anime for women to voice young male characters. Not just young male characters, though. A famous example is Goku, actually. Goku's Japanese VA is uh, an awesome lady named Masako Nozawa, who's in her 80s. Speaking of which, takes us to another response to the OP saying, These male characters are voiced by women. The gender of the voices behind them doesn't matter. And, you know, we're also talking about another demographic here as well in this entire discussion, age. We opened the rabbit hole already, right? The can of worms. So why isn't age an important factor? Instead of basing it off uh, other demographics, maybe we should just base it off age. We need a 35-year-old to voice a 35-year-old character. We need an 18-year-old to voice an 18-year-old character, etc., etc. I'm obviously being facetious, but you see the point, though, right? Like, how does this all work if we need to be if it needs to be the exact same then there shouldn't be like a shifting of the goalpost, right elf should play elf after all i love that saying if you don't know where that came from it came from a japanese person about two years ago i covered a segment related to a topic like this where vas were complaining about this is the same exact topic but it was specifically like hollywood vas at that point in time complaining there was like a number of hollywood vas that tried to make these sort of virtue signals Japanese person's like, so elf should play elf. It was such a good, such a good response, man. To the quote tweets, let's take a look and read these. You want a woman to lose her job because her character transitioned? I hope they finally cancel this character so I don't have to see any discourse on my timeline despite muting every keyword. <laughs> Most of these characters are Japanese and some not even trans. Following your logic, I agree with you. They shouldn't be voiced by any Westerner at all. Abolish dubs. <laughs> Especially when people like you try to insert your nonsense into them. Coco Goat. We see Coco Goat a lot. A lot of funny tweets from Coco Goat. Oh, Haru too. Look at that. Haru 47. This take. The largest piece of coal in the world. Here's someone agreeing with the OP. We'll end with this one. Reads, thank you, Senna, for being a strong voice for our community. I'm with you 100%. There are so many terrible takes in the comments of this thread. Thank you again for bringing it up. I'll say it till the day I die. Trans characters should be played by trans actors. There's no reason cis actors should piggyback and profit on trans roles while trans people struggle to afford their gender affirming health care and have bills written and take their rights away. We are in the middle of a trans genocide and all cis people do when they take roles like this is help erase us. You know, a lot of people also struggle to afford their health care though. So like, it's not a trans exclusive thing, especially live in the States. Healthcare is just super expensive. Plus there are a number of states in the US that have passed legislation to help provide gender affirming care to people. Uh, if we lived in an ideal world where minorities could live free of hate and oppression and discrimination, I'd be fine with any person playing any part, but we don't live in that world. And until we do, this will never be okay. Okay, here's a question for this person. Let's say there's a trans character voiced by a black voice actor who isn't trans. Now what? Now what do you say? Do you want that black person fired? Anyways, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this segment. If you did, once again, please consider liking and or subscribing. It helps my channel out a lot. I appreciate it. I look forward to catching you tomorrow for the next segment as well as the comments here. Ultimately, in conclusion as well, I think some of the people we talked about here, it would be better having a little bit of compassion for their fellow VAs, not trying to stab other VAs in the back to cut a quick buck. Like, that's going to be a really bad look for them. And like even worse when they're trying to speak on behalf of the entire trans community. Like now they're just dragging the trans community down with their bad take. I guarantee you there are trans people who see takes like that. And they probably just think to themselves like, oh no, oh no, 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 no. So yeah, I, I think there, there's a better approach and that's simply being more reasonable and more kind and more normal. Stop doing everything for like Twitter clout. It's not gonna get you very far. It might get you likes, it won't get you very far in life. I'll end it there. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the comments and tomorrow for the next segment.